Hi there, I'm Martin Tyler. With me today, Alan Smith. Welcome to today's game. Udinese in action in this game. They play against Fiorentina. Well, Alan, you've got to assess both teams today. What about Udinese? Well, this is a team that normally gives good value week in, week out. It's not an over-exciting one, but uh, it's one that should finish in the position it is now, mid-table. Well, we could have picked out any Fiorentina player for you, really, but he is our choice today as a potential match winner. He doesn't always catch the eye because he can help the ball on quickly but in a very intelligent way. This is the side that Udinese will feel today. Well, we've gone with a 4-3-3 formation here for them. Is that the way you see it, Alan? Yeah, I mean, it can be adjusted. It could almost be a 4-5-1 if they decide to come over all defensive, this team. But uh, if they're on the front foot, that three up front can cause the opposition back four some problems. Fiorentina's lineup for you. Davide Astore plays, plays alongside Gonzalo Rodriguez in the heart of defence. They should get some goals really with this attacking lineup. Three attackers. Control of the game, Gustavo Apollonio. Well, we're underway here. And in he goes with the tackle. On the attack here, through pass, and he goes for goal with his head, good stop by the goalkeeper. Probing away, trying to find room for a shot maybe, Fidmen. That would be a throw. Borja Valero. Nikola Kalinic. Moving forward now, Fiorentina. Preston won the ball well forward. In with a chance. And they've scored. That's the first goal of the game. And there's no stopping that. As lasered into the top left hand corner. And we can see a slightly different viewpoint on it. That has opened the scoring. 1 0 here. De Pau. Good forward play from them. Good strong tackle. Badelli. They've got the ball in the middle of the pitch here. Tereo! He tried his luck, but his luck was out.
Borja Valero. Now they've got a chance in this part of the pitch. That's got him out of a tight area with that back heel. Cyril Terreau. De Pau. That passing is... This could be it. Then in the shot, go! A well saved. Throw in here. And the cross coming in. Not a great cross at all in the circumstances. And pretty easy to cope with by the defending team. And he's got the ball away from him with the tackle. Patience is the name of the game at the moment. Could be an opportunity for Fiorentina. He's got support here. And shoots! The possibilities were turning into probabilities as the move developed on that counter-attack. And now they'll be reflecting on a genuine wasted chance. Danilo. Here the challenge is a good one. Well, this attack could have been a menace to it. Well defended, not just getting across, he thought quickly as well. De Pau. Danilo. Here's a chance to attack. It's a corner for Udinese, who are losing here. Three. And he heads it for goal. He's made the save. So it's 1-0 here as the half-time whistle goes. Well, the player that we're featuring here has done well. He's certainly been an influence on this first half. Well, he played really well, didn't he? And he got himself a goal to put his team ahead. He'll be... Fiorentina out in front at the moment, but we're only at the start of the second half. Good play until they got that challenge in. Opportunity here. Credit for taking on the shot. But well, what a good chance that was for him. By his standards, that's a glaring miss. Samir. It's a quick break. Made the challenge well. Substitution now to be made by Fiorentina. Brilliant team play this, with the passing, the movement off the ball to make the passing possible. Good possession play, but now it's been taken away from them. De Pau. There's good progress with this attack. Possession changes feet. Nikola Kalinic. Challenges for the ball. We've reached the hour mark. Half an hour to go. It's looking good, this move. The break is definitely on. Here's the chance. The shot's on. And they've got the equaliser.
Where did that goal come from? Top class. Well, the goalkeeper did his very best, but I think he might have regrets that he didn't get hold of that. Different angle on it here. on the Fiorentina bench it is uh, level both sides have scored here now Nikola Kalinic they've got a great understanding this team just look at the passing good challenge Badelli Fiorentina will make a substitution here. Well read by the defender. 20 minutes now remaining. On the attack here. Well, he's pressed him there to running the ball out of play. Cyril Terreau. In comes the challenge. Possession given away once more. the away team want to make a change could be an opportunity for Fiorentina De Pau Fiorentina have the ball Nikola Kalinic Brilliant match, still nothing between the two teams. They're both going at it, hammer and tongs looking for the win. So they can regroup now at a goal kick. Well, that's the end of his game, and what a game he's had, and the crowd appreciate that. Excellent. Well, he, he was so lively from the first whistle, really, and he was dictating the match for large parts. Well done, Sam. the attack now to put them in front fine save he's made there and he's not let the ball escape his grasp attacking now that's very gallant goalkeeping to get the ball at the feet of the opponent. Yeah, keeper showed a bit of pace there, actually, to make up the ground and close down the attacker. And that's the referee's decision. Two added minutes. And he's got the ball away from him with the tackle. Well, time for one last attack now. They're looking for a late winner. Can they get it? It is a penalty. Very late on here. He's off. No, I don't think anybody, even the player involved, can argue with that. Rash, Alan, reckless. Well, he's gone to ground, and whenever that happens, you're going to get penalised. Poor challenge. Oh, he saved it. Well, he's guessed the right way, and two strong hands to the ball. Brilliant. Well, after 90 minutes, it's level.